Okay, so we have our um, building pretty much put together. Um, recently, we added this big sign and this Fox logo here. Um, I'm going to take that and isolate it. Isolate selection. And just take a look at this. Um, so this is the piece, the main piece. Um, that's really going to distinguish this building from other buildings. Um, but we haven't textured it yet. But before we texture it, I want to see, and we have a few pieces left of the main facade. Um, we have this piece left, this piece, and this piece. So I want to get these pieces done before we do anything with the big sign, because we might have to move that around or, um, you know, uh, switch some things. We might have to delete this door, one of these uh, window panes. I don't know exactly how it's going to all go to fit um, because it's a little bit off center right now. But as soon as we get these pieces done, then we can actually move around things and uh, and see what's um, see how this actual the full building is going to be put together. Um, so um, I'm going to go to this parameter is map B. So um, what I want to do now is just I want to get the normal of map B. So map B, we'll pull this over here. I'm just going to go to the normal and then click on here and then click on this. And that should apply it to these. We'll replace it. Okay. So now I have a little bit better idea of what these parts are supposed to be. Um, and this is part A, it looks like. So map A, we still have some parts from map A still. So I'm going to do the same thing with map A and apply it to this one here. Okay, so I guess the first one, easiest one that's most square is this one here. So let's take a look at our, now everything else is normal. Um, I'm going to take a look at our paper model. And we're going to see where this piece was. Looks like it was right here. Oh, actually, we have one more piece missing, too. The window that goes here. we got to do that window. So let's, uh, let's grab that window. So it should be on the map A. And it's going to be this one right here. It's actually on map B. Just gonna slide it over and copy it, and let's do this right now first, since this will be like the easiest uh, one of them all. Oops, 90 degrees exactly. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to our front view, and then um, change our pivot point to something in the center or middle. Then I'm going to change my turn on edge faces. And then we're going to turn off snap and go to our edges. It looks like this is already lined up. This one's already lined up. But a couple of these could use some lining up. So that when we extrude it, it uh, lines up a little bit better. Actually, I'm moving the normal. So I want to make sure I have uh, preserve UVs checked. And then. Uh, Actually, I'm going to grab this one right there, grab this line, put it right there, and then grab this one and put it on the bottom. Now, I think we were doing um, up to the uh, inside of the bevel. So that looks good. So let's go to our edges, and I'm just gonna start getting rid of removing them. I can remove all these. I'm not gonna remove these. Anything that's an intersection or that we might need, I'm not gonna remove. 
We'll remove these though. Okay, now let's get rid of these points. Just kind of getting all of them. Okay, let's uh, extrude these borders here. And we'll do something in the lines of uh, like 50, maybe like 80, just so that it shows up better. And then I'm going to um, scale these in and then, well maybe not so much, and then back, but not that much back, so probably like something like that. Oops. Okay, and then we need to mirror it. But the first thing I want to do is grab all of these points. I'm going to go to my uh, scale and I'm going to hold the X modifier and then just drag right and then lift up and then keep on dragging right and lifting up. And that'll actually align all of our points here. So let's see where our. Uh, or, uh, pivot point is at. It looks like it's here, so I'm going to move it just to a clear spot that's in the middle right there. Then we'll copy and I'll mirror. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did with those other pieces where there was two panes and we only needed one. So I'm going to delete this one and this one. And then I'm going to take and detach this one detach this one and then uh, I'm going to grab it and grab these points and snap them to here but then we get this uh, other part so what I actually want to do is um, I'm going to change the pivot point to the right, the bottom right, bottom left I mean, sorry, and then I'm going to scale them, I'll scale them over. And then these points at the end, they should, they should move, nope, they're not going to, so we're just going to have to, actually, Wait, we can move them, yeah, we can move them. But we'll have to go into the, um, we'll have to go into the texture. And, uh, remap them. So it looks like this one here, if we put on our normal, goes over a little bit too much on what side is it looks like it's this end here so we'll just move that into alignment and then we'll grab this end and move that to here now we won't get any um, windows that are uh, mirroring information based on that intersection where, that, where we just cut that out. So that looks pretty good. Um, so we'll keep that and I'm just going to uh, attach it all to everything. Now it's one part. Okay, so that's done. So now if we look at our paper model, which is blocked, um, we'll see that if we turn off our grid, uh, this goes directly above uh, these pieces, which we already have. So all we got to do is the spacing. So let's do the spacing part. 
and that's just going to be uh, this piece right here. So let's go into the front view and we'll isolate this so we can break it apart. Let's turn back on our edges. Actually, let me turn that off just to see what's going on here. Okay, so we'll turn on our edges and start moving some of these points around. Um, Make sure we turn on preserve UVs. I'm just going to start blocking these out. We'll get the vertical ones first. get these horizontal ones. Actually, it'd be the vertical, but I'm going to call them horizontal. Okay. Um... Looks like we did this wrong. I need to bring this over. See so yeah, how we have two lines here, and there's two lines here now. So then I'm just going to select these again and bring them to right here. And then we also have two lines on the other side, so we're going to bring this right to there. And then we'll bring this one so it matches up on this part and this far one on the left to match up on this part here um, actually we want it to match up to this this middle thing here so I'm just going to select these again and move them to the edge right there and then we'll move the ones for this decorative decal down here Okay, and I'm just going to move these two center ones just as best as I can in the center. Okay, so now uh, let's collapse this and start removing some of these lines. I think I can select these and then I select them and then turn off edges. Uh, well, we really can't see it still, but... Um, Basically, I want to delete or remove these ones. Um, we're going to remove these ones. And these ones. And then, let's see here. This middle part here we have. Let's remove those. Just trying to remove all the ones in, in the uh, areas that we possibly can. The lower power count is going to be later. And then, uh, let's see. So I say you just have this piece here that needs to be extruded out. So. That doesn't really line up that good, does it? Let's see if we can move these still. 
Oh, it's not going to allow us to. Um, let's see. I think because it's not connected to the side. Maybe we just don't have preserve UVs on. That could be it. Can't move that one. So I'm going to want to move this one then. No, can't move that one much farther either. In fact, we shouldn't have moved it in the beginning. Okay, so... I guess that will just be one big piece. And then the rest of this can be removed. Okay, uh, so let's start extruding this. I'm going to grab these two right away because those are the uh, thinnest in the back. I'm just going to extrude them and then move them backwards. Oh, wait, so never mind. We have to remove all these points first. Don't select this corner one. Here it's going to get a little tricky. Like that's about all we can remove. Now let's extrude these out or in. this out. Extrude this out. But it's not going to be that much. And then we'll extrude this out a little bit. And then this out some more. Um. And then what I want to do is grab, I can't move those, um, so you have like an opening here, I don't really want that. Um, Trying to think if that's going to be a problem later on. It's a problem now, but it's a different kind of problem. Um, so if I move this back, it's going to move the front back too. And I don't want that. I want that to stay there. So I think I'm just moving these back. To where they were. And then just uh, move these down. That'll work. Okay. All right. So that's fixed. Um, I don't know what that piece went. Okay, there it is. So now um, exit the slice isolation and. Let's uh, let's add this to our model. Um, first, I kind of want to see how it looks here in the paper model. So it goes all the way down to the bottom of this piece here, even below this piece. So let's find that on our actual model, which is going to be this piece here. So I'm just going to um, hide all of our windows. Um, and then we'll bring in 
this piece and this window over to here. This piece is going to go in fact it's actually going to go on the very bottom of this. So it'll be like that. And then the window will go next to it. Although the window shouldn't be it shouldn't be in front. It should be behind. Or it could be even width. But it shouldn't be in front of this this uh, decal right here, which is not the case right now, so that looks pretty good. Um let me just look one more time at our paper model. So this window goes here, this is the decal here, and then the other part will cover up this window and this part here. And then it'll start connecting with the rest of our windows. So let's bring in those windows and move them up to connect with this point here. And then we'll see where our other uh, other part lines up. Actually, let's line up this other part first. So I know that's going to go right on top of this window. So if we turn off the paper model and then work on this part here, let's frame it and we'll go to our edge frame and isolate it and then turn edges off just to kind of see what we have here. So we don't need this window. We can delete that out of there. Um, and the rest of this, um, we could just make it kind of flat because we have the bump here. Uh, but let me see how it looks in the actual the pictures reference. So looks like there's a few caps um, here, here, and here. The rest of it's pretty flat. Um, So we'll make these just really low poly. Um, in fact, they're only going to be uh, half round, or maybe not even. Okay, so um, let's start getting rid of some of these edges. Actually, these ones we don't even need at all. So we can just remove those. Um, well, let's let's wait on that. Um, yeah, actually, these pieces are just going to be uh, stand out a little bit. They're not going to be actually round. Um, so I'm actually going to move this here and then this over and then these two over and then this down so it fits right there and then this one is going to be uh, to move these ones down along with these here um, we can also line up the window that we don't need so we're not going to need this at all.
Okay, let's start getting rid of some of these edges. Actually, I want to keep those edges because they're going to help us build this out in 3D. these along with these ones and these bottom ones um, oops can't get that corner one let's hold alt Okay, um, oops, looks like we got rid of one right here that we needed. Let's see when that happened here. Oh, there it was, okay. So you don't hit the, you're not on the move tool. Um, gonna want that one for that point there. You don't need any of these. You don't need these. Um, now, uh, we're not gonna be, need many of these. In fact, I don't even really want these ones. But we are going to need these uh, right here, but not these. We don't need these. So now I'm just going to um, delete all these unnecessary ones. doing all along so this is pretty much my my workflow for this project um, just getting all these unnecessary points okay so now uh, let's um, build this up so I'm just going to extrude this out a little bit and also this one And then we're going to want to select uh, this vertice here. See if we can move this up and move this up. Might not be able to move that one, but um, we might be able to move all three. No, not a good idea. Okay, we'll just leave it. Then I'm going to select these, which is going to be our um, post. It's not agreeing with me here. I'll select them all and then I'll deselect the ones that we don't need. Which is this one. Which for some reason. There we go. Okay. And we'll select these. And we'll just do them all at the same time so we know they're the exact same size. Um, and then 
these over here. And let's extrude them. That's not going to be a huge uh, difference in the uh, depth, but um, it will get the idea there uh, going. So, um, and then uh, we can go in here and uh, scale them down so that they're kind of like a, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, a cylinder almost. Um, and I'm just going to scale them a little bit more and then scale these in and then up. Same thing with these ones. We will unsuck that one on the end right now. Scale them in and then up. And then I just want to scale, I just want to bring this one out some more. Okay, so uh, we don't even need this or this or this. We could bring this out some more. And so now we have our uh, piece here. It's going to look better in the perspective. Uh, let's select on it. And um, you know what? I want all these front faces to be level. So I'm going to just go to my side view and select them all. And then I'm just going to grab my Y and pull them in with holding the left mouse button and then dragging then click holding up and then uh, dragging again. Uh, pick up the mouse and then drag. And I want them all the same. So now uh, we kind of have our pieces. Um, and let's see how that looks in the uh, texture. Oh, wrong one, maybe. There we go. So that's our texture. Um, and it looks like I just want to maybe scale these uh, sidewards. Unselecting everything else. Unselecting these. And then I almost wish I didn't uh, scale them sidewards, but we're going to scale them sidewards again as soon as we deselect uh, some of the ones we don't want. Okay, so I'm just going to. Maybe just these ones in the middle. And then grab these ones here. And I just want to make them level with the side. So I'm just going to select these points and move them over. There we go. So that looks a little bit better. Um, Maybe this point shouldn't actually be way up here because it's showing a lot of that black. Uh, so we'll just grab these points here and use our. Oh, okay. Uh, just grab the points that matter, these two here, and bring them down a little bit. Okay. So that's that part there. So now all we have to do is change the pivot point. Turn on my snap and move it to the center here, or this middle. I'm going to copy Control V and then mirror it. And this should actually be one piece, so I'm going to have to go to my Edit Poly and then Vertices. 
and turn off snap and then I'm going to grab these ones in the middle and kind of pull them together and then uh, this last one on the top and move it up and move these two down or everything down scale them down no Let's try and get rid of that green there that we don't want. Um, there's FUVs. No. There we can just bring these all down as well. There we go. And then we'll just move this one kind of like that. So that kind of looks a little bit better. Um, not sure what happen on the side here, but um, we can fix that just by scaling it. We'll do the same thing the other side. Just grab them, scale them. Um, this piece is not part of it. That piece is kind of our other piece. So here we go, we have this. So now um, I'm going to attach these. Collapse them and then hit attach. Click on it. Now I'm gonna snap this to uh, the front of the window, so it's gonna be right here. But first, I want to kind of just get it over there. So I'm just gonna snap it to. I want this to hang over the window, so it's gonna be to the front and then right there. But yet, uh, take a look at our 2B paper model here and see how this kind of lines up. So it's supposed to fit across the window right near the frame. So it looks like ours is too small. Um, so we're just going to uh, scale it so that it fits inside that frame is good about right there and I'm just gonna snap it right to it Got this corner of this piece snap it right to that end frame and the other side uh, we'll just have to scale from our pivot point which is going to be moved from the center to this part this end and then turn off snap and then I want to scale this so that this point lines up with this frame uh, there we go okay um, so let's take a look at our reference here um, okay uh, so it looks a little too thick right now. So I'm just going to grab everything. I'm just going to I'm just going to scale everything in. Okay. So now um let's finish our piece with uh the rest of the building. And it looks like from our reference here, that this is going to go across the whole building, even on this inside in between here. So all I got to do is to copy it over with this window and this piece here, and then this other last piece is going to be this up top here. So um, grab this, I'm going to grab this, and um, I'm going to snap it. Turn on S, snap with the S key, and. I want to copy it from what point here? Uh, this point. We may have to change our pivot to that point. But I think if I just hold shift and snap it over here, drag it over here and then snap it, that'll be easier. So this point right to here. But now we got to do it more times. 
So it's going to be this point here to this one, and we're going to make a number of copies, probably 20. That should be enough. That was clearly enough. And now we have a miss, uh, missing edge here. So um, we're going to have to fix that. And I think we'll just do that by, uh, I'm going to turn off my paper model. And I'm going to turn off this big sign. I'm just going to drag these pieces here that are sign, that was in front of our sign, and simply just slide it over. Because we're not going to need that behind there. There's going to be one missing back there, but it's not going to show. So I'm just going to make sure this is all the way over. And that goes just like that. Now we can bring in our windows. And that's going to line up right to here. It should line up with this piece. If not, we'll have to drag another one of these pieces up and delete the box underneath. Um, so uh, what I actually want to do is I want to get rid of, I want to hide this sign and these layers are on this final layer here. So I'm going to take this off of this layer and put it to the zero layer. Um, and then I'm also going to add these windows to this final layer. So now that's, uh, you know what, actually I'm going to, I'm just going to grab all this and go to select similar for our um, sidewalk and go to new layer, edit sidewalk, sidewalk. And then I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to hide it. Okay. I'm going to hide our ticket booth. I'm going to hide the bottom. I'm going to hide the map A, map B. I'm going to hide the bridge. I'm going to hide the bottom doors. All I want is our final layer. Well, it's not going to be the final layer, but it's called final layer. And we can change that to just uh, window and uh, detail. Okay, so that's going to be on the very bottom. We'll check that there. And I just want to make sure that our windows, our low poly windows, our mid poly windows, our high poly windows are all on. And then I'm going to move them all to fit our new part here. So I'm going to just hold control and then hit select, right click, hit select. And then we're just going to simply just move them up. Um, and this should line up with, let's see, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows. I'm going to just check in here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this part here will actually line up at the bottom of this eighth window. So, uh, if I grab the move tool and we're just going to slowly drag this down and it lines up right at the bottom of that window but it looks like our windows and these pieces don't match so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish lining these up I think they go a little bit above the window so the windows are going to come down on just a hair okay and then I'm going to freeze these. Actually, no, I don't want to freeze those. I just want to select my window in detail. And I'm going to deselect the ones on the right and line up these. Um, so it's going to be right there in the center. We may have to scale some of these. Um, so in that case, I'm going to actually um, delete this sides. 
got some scaling issues here we gotta fix first um, I'm gonna select this and then group it I'm gonna grab my pivot point snap it to this uh, um, snap it to I guess it doesn't matter any corner over here on the left and then we'll just scale from here and I'm just going to let's see if I can scale uniformly but right now there's nothing selected um, so I think that there is gonna be I just want to make sure this one lines up with this wall doesn't seem to be snapping right to it so we may need to zoom in now let's see where it was so just these two over here are off so I'm just gonna see if I can just scale to the X That's pretty close. There we go, that's right on. Okay. So now, um, what I'm gonna do is actually fix, uh, I'm gonna ungroup this, and I'm gonna fix these pieces to the end piece I'm not too worried about, we can fix that later. Um, but I want these to go fill in these sections here. I'm just going to grab them all and I'm going to go to Edit Poly, grab the vertex, and I'm just going to see if they'll just go up without stretching too much. And they should line up right to there. Now that's covered, and then this end one I'm just going to grab and scale it over. Okay, so now let's um, grab our window in detail, and I'm just going to um, group it, and then copy it, and then mirror it move it over change the um, made a few changes to them um, deleted these extra edges here that we didn't need uh, basically I took and rounded out these top parts some more um, by both just selecting them and then scaling them in or moving you know these three points and bring them out and then in again um, and then I chamfered these bottom edges um, and then I did an overall uh, just on the whole thing I just propped it out in the Y axis a little bit more just so it pops out you know some more um, cleaned up the edges a little bit and they're looking a lot better now um, they were kind of um, looking kind of uh, plain 2D ish so uh, I kind of did some some things to them um, so just chamfered these bottom ones and then rounded these more top outs and then uh, um, then I re uh, duplicated them and placed them back into their original spots um, so they're looking a lot better now um, so um, we can move on to the last part of the building which is this very top part um, of the made building um, so let's try to find that I think it's going to be in uh, one of these uh, layers here I think it's probably going to be in map A and map B probably uh, no how about I know it's somewhere here I just don't know where I put it on. Oh, there it was, the zero. That makes sense. Okay, so this piece is going to be our top piece. Um, it's going to look like this up here. So I'm going to have to get to a good reference that we can see that at. Um, and this is kind of like the last piece of the puzzle here. So 
if I can just find one that has that in there. Um, I didn't really get much of the top of the building because uh, I was on the ground, but this one seems to be the best one. So I'm going to open this one in Photoshop, and we're going to kind of take a look at it and see um, what this all entails. Um, so we've got all these detailed pieces and these pieces up here, these uh, round pieces, and then some pieces that fit over these walls. So let's see what we have in here. Um, we have all those pieces, these round pieces. Um, but how exactly do they go up there? I think uh, they're always facing, their big edge here is always facing the outside of the wall. Even on these insides, they're always facing in. I mean, yeah, they're always facing in, not out. So uh, that will be uh, this side here. Um, so we don't actually need um, any of these faces because that's going to be the wall. Um, we don't need any of this window, but we are going to need uh, this point here to uh, make that a bevel or a uh, curve. Um, but actually, if we look at this, we're not even going to need those pieces there. Um, we're not going to need these, I don't think. Um, I'm just going to slightly get rid of the ones we don't need. I need that, we might need that, we might need that. Slightly. I'll just delete those. Um, and then these very top ones here. So um, let's figure out this bottom part here first. And I'm just going to just gradually, without disturbing the UV space and preserve UVs, I'm going to kind of just round this out so that we can have a good edge here to kind of go with the, the uh, way it looks on the building. And this will be kind of rounded. You notice I'm not deleting any uh, vertices or edges right now. I'm just trying to get the general shape. Um, in fact, I don't think I'm going to be really deleting many edges or vertices on this uh, piece. It's basically just going to be to get the shape. This is a solid line, so that stays. Um, but we can move this in a little bit. And it looks like this point is not connected to anything, so I don't think we really need that. It's not really going to help us. So if we just go to remove, um, and also remove this one, and this one. Okay, so now um, I think this is kind of curved here. Um, let's do these top curves. I'm just going to gradually just kind of move these around to get to the shape here. Okay. Um, so the more rounded, the better. it's going to be. Okay, um, all right, uh, I'm going to try to do my best here to get this looking like it should. These should always be aligned.
um, all these can be moved in. Um, so if we just take a look at this from a perspective of no edges, uh, what needs to be smoother, what needs to be better, I think if we move this out a bit, and then some of this looks a little sloppy, especially these points here, just bring those down, I think uh, it'll look a little bit more smoother. Um, This could be moved out a little bit more. So that's a little bit better. Uh, I think this is still too curvy. So we're going to need to bring this out and almost a straight line actually. Include this one in there and that'll look better. There we go. So, um,. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, it's a very complicated piece. Um, so I'm going to take a look at this some more, kind of play around with it, and then see what works best. But for right now, I'm just going to copy this. Um, I'm going to do a save. I have modeled uh, the sections that we have, and I came up with a way that we can make all these parts possible. So let's go into 3ds Max. And before we had just this here, and so I broke it down into slices into pieces. Um, from the reference you can kind of tell these are pieces that are um, flat or uh, have a lot of uh, solid um, lines to them. And then these bubbles here or these circles here are kind of extruded out. So I tried to make the same things in this uh, mesh here where these parts are separated because they have more straight lines. Um, the parts up here are uh, extruded out and higher than the rest of the parts as far as depth goes and then these bumps here on the bottom are uh, extruded out to uh, be bumpier in a circle uh, shape so I think this is going to work um, it's going to be very far detail to see from afar so it's probably be about this far we'll see it from so I think it's going to work out good especially with the normal map so I'm just going to go into how I um, broke this piece apart and I'm actually going to do it with this piece next to it and do the same thing. So um, basically uh, I started out cutting out pieces. So if we grab this and I'm just going to go to uh, detach. And then um, I also detached uh, this section. Uh, let's get a little closer here. Um, figure out what section I detached. It was basically based on the line that we see when we turn off the edges. Um, there's some lines here. Uh, there's a line here, and then there's this above line. In the reference, um, this is the line here, and then this is the below line. Same thing with this piece here. It's higher here than it's lower here. So I tried to kind of uh, tried to mimic that with my pieces that I cut out. So we're not going to have. Uh, actually, it's going to be all these pieces and not these, so I'm going to detach these. And then, uh, um, looks like I almost, uh, before I detach that, um, I think I moved these, this row down. And this row down. And that kind of matched up these lines here. So if I go back to here and detach this, and then detach these, I'll get that upper line. And then um, I think I'm going to move these verts down here to match. Or it could have been, I think it was both of these down. Or just the one up. Sorry about that. Um, and you can see this line here, so I took this and I grabbed it from here, and then these bottom pieces, and I also detached these two over here. So I hit uh, detach, and then I selected 
these three, four here and hit detach. And I did the same thing down here, but I first I moved these vertices down to align with um, this line here. So this I grabbed. It looks like there's another line in here. So this one goes up to match this line. And I grabbed these three pieces and I detached them. Then I grabbed these three up top and, uh, and there's two there, there's three here. So um, I think I might have moved uh, let's back, go back a bit. So we've got this one and then we've got, oh this one moved down a little bit more. And then this one down to match these lines here. And then this top one is going to match right here, these three points. Sorry about that confusion, but um, I'm going to detach these now. And then these top three and these bottom three, detach those. And I'm just going to grab these and attach those. Now, uh, for these pieces down here, I kind of um, moved uh, the vertices in a um, shape that would uh, mimic the circle here. So we can kind of get the same shape by just moving these points around. Uh, let's move this one. Then I also moved these, um, and it looks like on my original one, I uh, did something that I shouldn't have. Um, basically, I did an inset, which I haven't been doing all during this project, but I just did here, and you can actually see why that messed it up, because um, these polygons here are stretched. Not that one, but all this whole row is stretched, and that's not good, so I'm not going to do that with this one. Um, and I don't think I'm going to make it as bumpy as this one. If you can look, uh, if you see here, um, these pieces that I had kind of stick out. Well, I, don't, I don't really want that like that. So um, I'm not going to do that uh, just yet. So if we go to the front view, um, I'm actually going to grab these ones that I disconnected and keep them in line with the rest of them. But I'm actually going to uh, make a edit poly and then I'm going to do a um, lattice. And I think I'll get a better control over where these uh, are going to go. And it looks like it's not selecting any of my polygons. So I'm going to need to collapse them all and then then do just the modifier to just this piece. And I think that'll that'll move it. So I just want to move this middle one out more, and this one out more, and then this bottom one out more. Um, gives it some some depth, and the other pieces will align to that as well. We'll just bring them forward. And then I'm going to extrude these. And extrude is somewhere around here. Here it is. So these pieces will be extruded out. And then I'm going to take them and collapse them and then bring them back. And then I'm going to do the same modifier to them. The lattice 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Grab these control points and bring them forward. Okay. And now, um, looks like they're a little bit too forward. So I'm going to bring them all back just a hair. Especially this top one here. And especially the bottom one. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to extrude these... Uh, 
Actually, let me just select all this and we'll get rid of these lattices. I'm going to go to Edit Poly and then Collapse All. And then I'm going to extrude these circles here. I'm not going to inset them. I'm just going to... Actually, I'm just not even going to extrude them. I'm just going to move them forward so that they pop out so a little bit more. Because the other one uh, that I did before was a little jaggedy. looks like you can see edges and stuff, so I don't want that. I just want it to be basically... Uh, you know, a bump. Um, this one's going to, have to be less than this one because it's at the end. Okay, so now um, all I have left to do is do this top piece here. I just want to extrude these out because this is going to be the main part. That's going to be the thickest part. Uh, so I'm just going to extrude it out and then I'll bring it back a little bit. And then I'm going to take these bottom vertices and I'll bring them back so they line up with the rest of them. maybe even bring these forward and I needed all these points here because the uh, lattice will not um, uh, work without multiple points on there but we can get rid of those um, depending on how, big, how, po how much polygons this is looks like it's uh, about 500 so um, I'm gonna go ahead and isolate this I'm going to copy it over, and then I'm going to take this original one and uh, isolate it again, just a single one. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go to Attach, and I'm going to attach all these pieces together again after I broke them apart. And then I'm going to go to my front view and get rid of all these extra uh, edges, if I can, if it will allow me to. It won't. So... Um, I don't see that being a huge problem um, but I think we can still get rid of some of them like these ones here we can get rid of maybe not, maybe not I think that modifier that, that kept them so um, not a huge deal but you can kind of see when I take off the wireframe that it looks a lot better uh, maybe not from the side view, but um, as long as I take this and uh, I think the only piece that's not fitting is this bottom one. So if we can just move this back. And maybe this one here. Move it forward a little bit. Okay, so now uh, it's kind of shaped that way, but it's not really. Um, so actually what I'm going to do now is uh, all these pieces are attached as one. But what I want to do now is I, I'm going to do a, um, a pro optimizer. And we're going to crunch the borders and calculate. And actually I want to keep my textures and I want to keep... Um, like boundaries and see if we can calculate this again so it's at a thousand but we want it down to whoop, so we gotta exclude the borders maybe so we start getting some some errors at right about 52 percent so we were at 400 now we're at or we we're at 500 now we're at 400 so if I can just See this in my shaded or my wireframe. Still a lot there, but um, if I turn this off. I think I can optimize this just a little bit more, and then I'm going to collapse it. And then I'm going to throw another one on there and see what it does. This time we want to keep textures and merge vertices, and then calculate. I'm going to bring it down and see as far as... Eh, it's not going to go anymore. Okay, so we'll just get rid of that. So, we were at about 600, 700. Now we're at 400 and 300. Um, I think we can get rid of a lot more of these if we go to the side view and um, break off our 
extra uh, extra um, points here, and just um, we don't really need all these. But I wish it was easier in the side view, but it's it's not going to really help. So if we just delete those, and then delete these, making sure we don't get any of the ones that see th show through. I'll be able to get these. These couple here, and probably just enough to. I actually want those top ones, but I do want to scale them in. Oops, what did I do? Z. grab these ones here and actually put the R and scale them in and then bring them forward kind of. Actually no I don't want to do that at all I just want to keep them there. So we're down to like 200 so it's not too bad some of our other pieces are about 200 so I'm just going to keep that where it's at. I'm going to exit isolation and see how it compares to the other one. It's a lot better, a lot less jaggedy. Um, so I'm just going to um, just going to take this one and move it on to a new layer and call this top detail uh, big uh, part as far as my naming conventions I don't know but it'll definitely show up as the top detail um, and then these other ones um, I don't think we're going to need but I think I'm just going to do a quick save do an incremental and then I'll do one more save as and bring it up to like uh, another one and hit save and then we can delete these and if we ever need to go back to them we have that other file there that we saved as uh, 6065 so now we have this final piece so I'm going to zoom in on that and we'll place it in our scene here so uh, let's go to the front view and bring it all the way to the top now this is going to take some skill to place this um, so we're going to have to look at the reference so like I said before the, the, the sharp edge is going to be on the outside of the walls all the time uh, but then we're going to have these ones in between that are going to be right on top of each other so um, I'm just going to throw that on my other screen here and um, it goes down to Uh, actually it looks like we have a, a bit of an issue here that might be an issue, might not be but um, there's a black piece up here and in ours there's nothing above here so if I just grab this and drag it up and then isolate it I can delete all these lower ones and because we separated those earlier we don't have all the windows that come with it, which we don't need. So I'm just going to make sure this is lined up. Okay, now we can start. We're going to need these walls a bit higher though. Um, so I think uh, we're not going to need the middle ones, but we're going to need the end ones or the big ones. So if I just grab these ones and I'll take it from this corner here turn on my snap get the move tool, turn on snap and actually let's just turn off snap for right now I'm going to hit the move tool, hit X and hit, hold shift, bring them up and then I'll snap them down okay now we're not going to need all this, um, but I'm going to keep it here for right now. This will be about there. And then I'm going to reset the pivot uh, from here to this edge. I'll copy it. And then I'll mirror it. And 
and then copy it and mirror it again. But I actually want, no, actually, I don't want that mirrored. I want to bring this one over and put it right there. And this one's going to be moved in. And there'll be a little gap uh, there, which there really shouldn't be. So like if we move these over, and then this one over, and I'll snap these as soon as I just get them to where I want them. I may have to scale these up a bit, but I'm going to group them first. And they'll come down to about, actually that'll be the height, and but they're going to come down to like the top there, about like that. So... Um, They need to be scaled up more. And then I'm going to ungroup them. I'm going to move this one over and this one over. What I'm trying to get is this top piece um, to actually uh, look like just one piece. So I'm going to grab all these again and go to edit poly. And then I'm going to delete what we don't need. Which is going to be, uh, we're going to have to make some edges. So I'm just going to go to my edge face mode. Select all these, go to, um, collapse and add poly and then our edges and why can't I make a connection okay um, I guess we'll just move them manually uh, it should not move the texture if we hit preserve UVs so I'm gonna move it a little bit but it's only a little bit off and then it should be up to this point here and I'm just making that point based on uh, these points here in Photoshop and then this top part is going to be a little bit over the edge um, so now we have them all kind of lined up I'm just going to move this over to my other screen and now that we have these lined up I think I can uh, um, I want to bring this one over No, I want to copy this one and then mirror it. I'm going to bring it over to here. So it's going to be about right there. Now let's snap these together. Um, or actually, we'll, we'll just uh, keep them as is. I don't think there's any holes in there. Might be a little bit one there. Make sure there are no holes. Looks like this one's overlapping a bit too much. Um, we may need to fix a few of these uh, vertices so that they don't um, show the holes right here in the middle. Should just come to a point. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to move them manually. Not sure why that one's acting different, but that's okay. And we're almost done with this uh, main facade. Okay, so now I think if I uh, hold shift and drag it to about here we'll get the rest of them that we need and I'm gonna make um, 
I don't know, we'll just go with like 25, I don't think there'll be more than that. Looks like they're all lining up perfectly. I mean, there's way too many, but that's okay, we'll just delete them. And finally, the last one is going to be... If I can find a picture of the entire building. I did a lot of close-up shots, and I got some far ones, but I don't know if I got... I did get one of the entire building, it wasn't really high-res, but... Um, I believe it's this one here sort of but it you see there isn't one on the very end just right here and then there's a little decoration here so what I'm gonna do is delete this one and go back to our reference once more um, that one will still be there and I don't think I'm gonna put any on the end um, we'll just well yeah we could do a corner piece or something um, I just don't know if I can make it out of this piece. Uh, so what I'm going to do is copy this and then mirror it. And then bring it over. And yeah, I can do this. I mean, I think it came up to about there, maybe. So that'll be that. And it doesn't hang over at all, though. So we'll just uh, scale it and place it right in here okay and then I'm just gonna uh, copy it and mirror it over to the other side and then bring it all the way over here to this end and then I'm going to see if looks like this one's a little bit thicker it's okay now let's see if it lines up with the rest of the building okay so all of our stuff did not line up so we just gotta move it at this point, that'd be a lot of snaps to do, so I'm just going to move it manually and just make sure that it lays on top. So I'm going to zoom. Looks like we have a few issues at the very top here with these ones, so um, I'm going to have to move it forward just a hair. There we go. So now we have our uh, completed building. So I'm just going to stop the video and uh, we'll get this uh, big sign textured up with our new texture sheet.